Hello and welcome guys. Today I'm gonna explain to you how to build tier 2 or tier 3 backlinks. Basically multi-tier linking using GSA search engine ranker. Now, uh, before you head on building tier 2 backlinks or tier 3 backlinks, just be sure that you have used the software to build tier 1 links. Why? Because when you uh, select to build tier 2 backlinks, you are telling the software to build a list of backlinks that rely on the verified links that you have built before, which are tier 1 links. Okay, for example, let's say um, I'm gonna type, for example, on udemy.com. Okay, let's say I'm gonna uh, build tier 1 backlinks, I mean uh, the ordinary links. Uh, we build using the software okay uh, and say I have uh, acquired 200 links okay those are called um, tier 1 backlinks now if I want to build tier 2 backlinks or tier 3 backlinks I must have built those tier 1 backlinks why because the program will use the verified URLs which I have built before or which I have acquired before using the software to build on it multi-tier or tier through tier three tier four tier five tier six backlinks whatever so basically the first option we're gonna hit is this option this option is telling me what the project uh, you want to build tier two backlinks for i'm gonna just select this project for example and hit it okay uh, here goes the keywords uh, basically, basically the keywords in here, uh, it's recommended to use the same keyword you use uh, for the project you are building backlinks for. For example, those keywords uh, are uh, they are just for uh, educational illustration purposes, but but I select those keywords to keyword because they are closely related to the uh, website I have selected in my um, campaign. This website. So use the same keywords or expand your list of keywords that are closely related to your website for which you are building tier 2 backlinks. Um, the main thing, another thing is when we go to options, make sure, be sure to select this option. Okay, always use keywords to find target sites to get relevant backlinks, guys. Um, you won't rank in Google better unless you get relevant backlinks. Okay, so always use keywords to find target site. Use that. That's mean you tell the software to use the keywords you have provided in this box to search for targets. Okay. Um, what else? Make sure also select this option and to check all the engines also make sure to tick check mark on this option to prevent you to prevent the software from selecting websites or targets that have those keywords um, also avoid posting on two sites with just IP and no domain. You don't want to have backlink on a website that has no domain, just an IP address like you when you're accessing your uh, home router. Um, here goes uh, your preferences guys. Uh, when you want uh, to build backlinks on websites that are uh, on specific page rank above or below. I mean that goes back to your preference in building your backlinks. It's not necessary to have backlinks on websites that are on specific page rank 5, 6. At least you get website relevant and are not spammy sites. Um, and that's it. And you are ready to go. Okay. Here you select your backlinks. Uh, basically guys, uh, forgot to say that when you build tier 2 backlinks or multi-tier linking, try to select the type of backlinks which are URL shortener, traceback URL, pingback URL, 
okay referral url uh, untick indexer uh, and if you are using article blog comment directory exploit forum guestbook you can use it you can, you can use it for, for it but basically article blog comment those type of backlinks are used basically for tier one links okay so uh, when we build uh, when we build normal or ordinary backlinks from the tier for uh, by tier one okay uh, we, we basically use article blog comment directory forum and we are not interested in selecting ping back url shortener traceback when we build tier one links okay but when we build tier two backlinks okay we should be interested in selecting url shortener traceback referral ping back and that's it if you like the video just subscribe or if you have any question, just put a comment and I'm going to answer it.